As more students and teachers in the borderland spend another week back in the classroom, the El Paso Federation of Teachers insists it's still not safe enough. Now he's asking for the city county health authority to be removed. ABC 7's Brianna Chavez spoke to the president of the teachers union. She joins us live now. Brianna, why does he want Dr. Hector Carranza removed? Well, Eric Rossmore says he doesn't think Dr. Hector Ocaranza has the qualifications to lead the city through and the county through this pandemic. He says he wants somebody who has more epidemiology and infectious disease experience. And he's asking the city and the county to consider looking for somebody else. He claims that the health authority hasn't been transparent with COVID-19 data to superintendents. Here's what he had to say when I asked about those transparency, transparency issues. So I'm using the data straight off the health authorities site and the DSHS site. There have been so many disconnects and anomalies in it. And more things Dr. Ocaranza should be making decisions on CDC indicators like new COVID-19 cases and not just overall hospitalization rates. However, the TEA is the one making the decisions on stay-at-home waivers and said waivers won't be issued anymore after February 1st. When I asked more about that, he said he thinks the health authority should urge local leaders to push back against both the TEA and the state. And right now, according to more EPISD and Canutillo ISD, two districts that he represents, are operating between 20 to 25 percent capacity and thinks districts are doing a good job but it's just not safe enough now that it's at a low capacity is good that gives districts the chance to shall we say fine-tune their mitigation procedures and correct those that are having problems yeah but that's at a cost of infected kids and infected members We did reach out to the city and the county. The city has yet to give comment. I did bring this up with the county judge, and he wasn't aware of it until I spoke to him earlier today, and he said he will follow up. Okay, Brianna, what does he want done when it comes to ensuring teachers' safety? Of course, talking about Ross Moore. Well, Eric, there's really a lot of things on top of requiring face masks and increasing physical distance. He really wants more room air ventilation at all of the districts that he um, represents and expanding rapid testing and extra screening for individuals at these schools. And unfortunately, not every district has that. So, of course, all of those things adding up, he really just wants somebody to look after his members, according to what he told me earlier today. Live in West El Paso, Brianna Chavez, ABC 7. All right, Brianna.